It's probably the very first question every Linux user asks when they're switching to Linux is, which distro should I choose? Well, here's the thing. I don't think anyone really chooses their distribution. I think the distribution actually chooses you because at the end of the day, and you know, I can't guarantee that the distribution that I recommend to you is even going to work on your hardware or for your use case or maybe just personal preferences because that's a thing too. Sometimes you just don't like the look and feel of a distribution. So you move on to something else. And this is the thing. When you choose a Linux distribution, you're not signing up for a team, right? You're not choosing a team and you don't have to defend that team. Like it's not anything like that. It's not it's not a personal kind of decision that many people seem to take this as a personal thing. Man, just try out some distributions, right? So I'm one of these people, I've used Linux for a long time. I have run so many Linux distributions on physical hardware on my main production machines. So it's not like I've ever signed up for a team, right? And I had to defend it because I'm perfectly okay with moving on from whatever I'm using now to something else in a few weeks or in a few months or whatever it happens to be. In my Linux journey, you know, I started out with Ubuntu like most people did back when I started my Linux journey around 2008 or so. Ubuntu, by far the most popular desktop Linux distribution at the time. Now, no question, probably still is the most popular desktop Linux distribution. And, you know, I began that journey because Ubuntu at the time was the easy Linux distribution to install. And as a noob, that's what you wanted. Also, I liked stable, right? I didn't need a rolling release at the time, right? I just needed something to install on my machines. And once it worked, everything was set up. It was good. And that, that's all I needed. Rock solid, stable. That's why, you know, in my early days of Linux, I really liked Ubuntu LTS. I really liked Debian stable. I liked old and crusty. <laughs> you know, I, I liked those distributions that you just install on something and you set it and you forget it, right? And then about, you know, four and a half years ago, I started this YouTube channel and that didn't, no, that no longer worked for me. You know, the old and crusty, you know, Debian stable, Ubuntu LTS, because I often on the channel wanted to install software that I needed the latest versions for, or in some cases, that were new pieces of software that hadn't yet made it into the Debian repositories. And that's when I switched to using mainly Arch-based Linux distributions because of the rolling release nature. So it's one of those things, things change, right? What, what was perfect for me earlier in my life no longer worked at some point, so I had to make a change, and that's fine. You know, and if down the road, I'm no longer making YouTube videos and, you know, I, I want to go back to that set it and forget it mindset. I'll go back to doing Debian based stuff, maybe, or, or maybe I'll move on to something else. It wouldn't shock me if at some point I get tired of the Arch ecosystem and move on to something a little different. I, I really kind of like the way distributions like Nix and Geeks do things as far as the reproducible builds and, you know, they just the immutable aspect of those particular distributions. I could see myself eventually, you know, ditching Arch and moving over to one of those kinds of ecosystems. You know, I'm not saying that I'm definitely going to do that, but I, I could imagine me doing that. I, again, you don't join a team and have to stay with it, right? It's okay to move on to different distributions. And again, you, your use case is going to change. The distribution you install as your first distribution is almost certainly not the one you're going to be running a few years from now. <laughs> just Let me just put that out there. There are going to be problems. You're going to run into some stuff that's going to make you think, maybe I should try out something else because this problem I'm having on this distribution, maybe this other distribution won't have. So you'll try something else. And you might like the new thing and you might stick with it. Or you might not and go back to the old thing. Or you might try a third dif different distribution, right? It's one of those things, ultimately, don't have this mindset where you think you go out and you choose a distribution and that distribution is guaranteed to be your distribution. That's not the way it works. You're going to try out a bunch of stuff and eventually a distribution, again, it, it chooses you. And don't be surprised if at some point that distribution unchooses you as well and you have to move on to something else. All right, guys. Peace.